Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGem007 and today we're looking at the Defense Towers plugin. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these really awesome defense towers and you can customize them, you can even make brand new ones. And what they will do is defend the area from mobs and other players. Now if you've got friendly players you don't want to get shot, you can add them to the blacklist and then all of these will require ammo that will get used up when they obviously shoot stuff and they are all automatic as well as being manual you can actually jump inside them and shoot them yourself if you want. So to give you an example I'm going to spawn a zombie and let's see what happens to this poor guy when I spawn him. He does not stand much of a chance so you can see they all shoot at him at once and they have a variety of different uh, ammunition types and all of these mobs are just having a really bad time right now uh, and you can see all these turrets are going to work. So let's take a look in this chest and see the ones we have by default. Now, when you first load up the plugin, you will only have this example tower. Now you can see the damage, the range, the projectiles per shot, the knockback, etc. And this one's going to use arrows. Now, if you want to have any of the other ones, we need to do the forward slash DT command and then DT gen examples. Hit enter, and that is going to create the example towers, which is all of the other ones that look very cool. So you can see there's a flamethrower, healing machine gun, potato, shotgun and sniper tower. And you can see that they all have different ammunition types, whether it's a poppy, a potato, stone bricks, etc. Um, so if we just grab all of these and their ammunition types, we can go ahead and see what they do. So let's have a quick look at what each of them do. So the first one is a sniper tower. Now if I right click this with an arrow, it's going to give it ammunition. Now if we look in here, there's a few things we can look at. If we click tower radius, it's going to send out a beam and show you how far it can actually shoot, which is really cool. The next thing we can do is the player blacklist. So on this, you can type people's names and it will add them to the player blacklist. And then you can obviously remove them if you want and then just type cancel when you are done with that. And now the next thing is the ammunition. So you can uh, shift right click to put them from your inventory into here. And then the last thing, click in the saddle. This will put you in the control. Uh, of the turret and you can see the direction it's pointing and then just left click to shoot and then you can see how much ammo you have there's a bar above in your inventory and it shift to jump off of it and now it's back in automatic mode then we have stuff like the shotgun tower the potato tower and the healing machine and as you can see you can just right click with whatever ammunition is going to work for that one you can see they all use different ammunition and you can just jump inside of it and then shoot as necessary obviously that one's healing uh, the shotgun one's pretty cool and then you can left click to destroy them if you want. So going back to the DT command, if you do DT get, and then we've got a list of all the towers, you can simply just do that command to give yourself one, and then you can do the DT reload command to reload any changes you make in the config file. Now you can really customize them a lot in the config file, which is what we're going to take a look at. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there is a towers folder, and in here it's going to list all the towers you created. Now what you can do is simply just copy and paste one of these to create a new one, for example, um, or you can go into uh, an existing one and change it yourself. So in the example one, you can see a few things. So display is true and the display name is example tower with a nice purple color. Then you have projectiles per shot, the gravity, the damage, the speed, accuracy. So you can customize all of that stuff. Scroll down a bit more and you've got the tail of it. So what does that look like? The colors um, and the size. And then you've got stuff like the chance of a critical hit, the multiplier and the accuracy. You can change the range, whether it picks up ammunition, or yes or no. Scroll down and we've got the tower consumption and the delay, the max ammo, the offset. And then the ammunition type you want to put here, so we'll shoot an arrow. And then the turret is obviously going to be a player head, I wouldn't mess around with that. And then blacklist, you've got a list of all the blacklisted stuff. And then you can obviously in-game blacklist players as well. So go back and then we can have a quick look at one of the other ones, such as the flamethrower tower. This is going to be virtually the same, just with a few numbers tweaked. And then if we scroll down to ammunition, you can see it's a fire charge this time. So if we head over to the spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.18. It was updated yesterday, in fact. Here are all the nice looking towers. And as you saw, you can simply just copy and paste the existing ones and tweak them as necessary. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.